Yeah, very good morning, one and all. My name is Kamalesh. I am from Pantech Solution. I am a data scientist of past three years. So, once again, I am glad to meet you all. Uh, okay. So, good morning, one and all. So, today here we are going to uh, take a webinar on big data and data science. I will tell you how we are, why we are using uh, Apache Spark. It's must in big data and data science part. Okay. So before going to this webinar, I need to tell thanks to FGR Educational and Research Institute. So organized by Department of Computer Science and Engineering in association with Pantech e-learning. Okay. So and I have to special thank. I got to give special thanks to uh, both convener and coordinator of CSE department and ENS department. Okay, so thank you for this giving golden opportunity. Let me move on to webinar session on big data and data science. Okay, so first of all, you have to know what is big data and data science. Okay, so big data is nothing but uh, in name itself they have. It's a huge number of data. Okay, huge number of processing of huge number of data in uh, both retrieving or saving. Okay, how we can handle those huge number of data and data science. Data science is nothing but after you are having a huge number of data, you need to plot some graph or you need to analyze something. Uh, how much they will, uh, how much the percentage or how much the statistics report of those data means you need to use data science. Okay, so this is the difference between big data and data science. Okay, so before we go into this webinar, I have to tell to tell about our Pantech solution. So it's a Pantech solution is from orange from 2004, seven branches and 100 plus employees. We are conducting more than 1,200 plus workshops approximately and then we have an portfolio on R&D department industries projects and faculty development programs okay so we have a separately we will conduct a faculty for faculty also like a workshop or like a training and we have a hands-on workshop also hands-on training workshop also and we are internships like uh, IOT and AI, deep learning, machine learning. So like those domains, we are conducting some online internships also. And then now it's also now also it's going on. If you want any related domain, if you want to study uh, each, any related domain means you can. Uh, at last, I will give the uh, some few members, few numbers uh, of my marketing branch. You can count and you can if you want to learn means you can register for internships and short term courses, value added courses and academic projects also. Okay. So we are providing the projects for MTech, BTech and MBA. So it's like this, those projects also we are providing. So if you need anything, you can contact those numbers. Okay. So we are providing a projects for Tripoli and ECE, CSE and IT domains. Okay. Both are, we have a two different type of departments. One side is one hand is we have only hardware session, another hand is we have only and software session. Okay, so if you take IoT or artificial intelligence, embedded system, BLSI, image processing, OpenCV, so this, those are the domains we have some hardware also or only software also. But if you take CSA or IT, means only the software domain be like big data, data analytics, and internet of things, Python, Android. Okay, so like those. A software projects also we have so table of contents so these are the topic topic we are covered in this webinar session okay first of all i will give the introduction about big data and problem and then why we are using apache spark and in introduction to spark and then ap after that in spark what are the libraries we have and what are the application we can use with the spark and then data science. Then I will give you the introduction to data science, where how we are using using Spark, how we are using data science. We need, I will tell you, tell to platform interface, how we can interface with those different type of platforms, and PySpark application and partitions. 
how the five spark application partition means the partitions are divided into three types what are the types and how it's working i will tell those things and then how to set up an apache spark through online and i will tell you in your pc also okay how to install in your pc and how to install uh, how to use apache spark through online okay so those are the table of contents we are covering in the, in this session okay so first we will move on to introduction of big data okay not a big data problem we will first see about big data and then big data problem okay so what is big data so big data is nothing but we have more number of data so nowadays we are using mobile phones okay so mobile phones in those mobile phones we have different type of communication app social media apps like twitter or news feeds or or instagram okay so each and every day they have more number of big data we need to store in some cloud or some servers okay so at the time we need some uh, to store some data from the server or cloud we need some uh, efficient software okay efficient software to save that data in the server or cloud and we need to retrieve that data at each and every time whenever we need okay so that is the uh, software we want to use apache spark here okay so before going to those section apache spark system i need to tell where we are using how we are using and why we are using okay so big data is nothing but gigabyte ter terabyte petabyte etc so it's, hope everyone know this about gb and tb and all okay why we are using so we are i already told to you we have a more number of social medias and we have um, each and every day we are giving some video uploading videos in tiktok or uploading videos from instagram okay so like those not only in our social media if you take an any other uh, hospital management systems or any other banking scatter we are uploading some data okay so those data should be in structured or unstructured okay structured means um, if you upload any data related to and your bio details like name uh, date of birth age and then gender like that if you upload according to the why according to the attributes wise it will be a structured data okay unstructured means it should be in the form of like fingerprint or any other data without unstructured with unstructured manner okay so like those data we are uploading is uploading okay that is what why and then how okay how we can uh, man data okay by storing something or processing something like using hadoop or spark okay so storage processing by using hadoop or spark okay hadoop is nothing but it also some efficient software only for saving uh, like those big data but nowadays we are using spark okay so it's a update update of hadoop is spark okay so if you take an big data they are categorized into three v's okay like three v's that is volume v velocity and variety okay so we have these three v's okay volume is nothing but size amount and quantity of data okay so about this i don't need to explain you already know size amount and quality of data and velocity speed of data okay so if you want to retrieve the data from one place to another place and if you want to save those data to any server or cloud how it's achieving a speed okay so that is speed of data and variety types of data to store in our processor okay like we have variety of data like data type if you take and some data types means we have string we like structured or unstructured data okay how we are stored and processing those data okay that is variety okay so big data problems so why it's coming as a big data as a problem means in past 10 years we have a less amount of configuration like if you take an example of say computer or pcs we have less configuration like uh, intel i core processor less i3 or i processor and then some of the processor we are using low medium processors only okay so we are updating each and every year each processor and the memory size 
and for example we are using 700 mb or 200 mb for storing purpose now we are using a 10 or 100 db we are using okay so like those we are using if the if if other hand we are increasing the configuration of pc and increasing the configuration of computers uh, sorry configuration of uh, data uh, or configuration of hard disk in other hand we are increasing the cloud storage also cloud storage also or server storage also okay so we need to improve the saving things okay so that is improve the large amount of data to save it into, into a cloud or some other medium is uh, nowadays it's more complicated one, okay so for that purpose we are need some efficient software okay so what is those software we need to uh, easy to tackle those software and uh, such a data we need to process and make it uh, make it large parallel for computer clusters we need to tackle them easier whenever we need okay whenever we need to uh, process those data it's easy to easy to process those data okay so for that purpose we are using an apache spark okay so apache spark is nothing but um, it's a uh, efficient software to handle those things those big data okay so let's be see um, what is apache spark okay so apache spark is nothing but it's a, it's a unified engine unified computing engine okay so it's only created for big data uh, big data purpose okay so handling a big data okay so it's a unified computing engine it have different type of libraries like an uh, machine learning libraries or data analytic, analytics libraries or sql libraries okay like our streaming libraries we have different types of libraries to processing them cluster of computers okay not only a single computer if we have if we take a cluster of computers also apache spark will be work efficiently and speedily okay so that is what we are we are using for big data okay so spark is a big data that can be proven to be easier and faster than the hadoop MapReduce. okay so when we compare to previous software like hadoop MapReduce, the spark is one of the biggest solution to handling the data easier and faster okay so what is hadoop matrix map reduce okay so about hadoop matrix hadoop is one of the software to handling a big data only but here you need to highlight the word map reduce okay map reduce is nothing but it's a way of saving a data okay so for example if you take a hadoop and spark in hadoop we are using map reduce technique okay to saving a data okay if you take it take an spark we are using a rdd method to read to serving the data okay that is the basic difference between those thing i will tell you what is the basic difference between map reduce and rdd okay so here you can see uh, why we are using apache spark okay so it's a fast and general cluster computing engine so it helps to improve the efficiency okay if it helps to improve the efficiency and usability okay so efficiency means what type of efficiency like a memory or computational graph okay so computational graph here we need to highlight the point computational graph okay what is the difference between what is the what is computational graph means if you have some data for example if you have some data we need to store that dot data with uh, any cluster okay any uh, cluster type of uh, data you need to store those data those big data into cluster we need some uh, computation graph okay so for example if you if you take an map producer there is no uh, they have computational graph but th that not that much ability compared to apache spark why computational graph is important means during processing time if you take any uh, error if it, if it's uh, broken any cluster is broken or anything it's happened during computation time using those computational graph we can retrieve the data okay it's like a mm -hmm, during the pro apache spark during a processing of data it will be create on metadata then only it will the process will be done okay so at the processing running time it it's make some errors or mistake means using that metadata it will be retrieved the 
uh, regain the process of those data and stored successfully okay so that is the use of computational graph okay so memory sharing memory data sharing and central computation graphs will be 100 times faster okay then improve usability through rich apis like scala python and java okay so this all those are languages we can use like a api okay application interface uh, for example if you are know python you can you using python you can access the apache spark on saving the data if you know the java you can access it but here you can highlight the word it's a interactive shell and less than code compared to previous two or five lines less than of the compared to hado like that okay so this is what we are using apache spark the, then a yeah, central engine okay so what type of engine we are using for apache spark okay so like for example we are using a X, sql okay spark structure query language structure up so if you want to manage any data like sql you can use those data using those uh, and downside frameworks like uh, cassandra amazon web service hadoop open stack okay my sql those spark core we have using those spark core we can access the data like sql okay spark streaming real time streaming like real time stream about streaming you already know okay so if you want to real time stream any data means you can use those app and ml libraries so here you can see we are using machine learning libraries so we can use you use machine learning libraries also like um, machine learning algorithms or training and testing like pre processing okay so at the at the end of the session i will show you how to do some uh, machine learning techniques in apache spark okay then grab x grab x is nothing but data science part okay so here we have a ecosystem in left corner we have a uh, some index like programming library engine management and storage okay in right column we have some data okay so if it comes to engine we have a core spark core that is we installed a core of spark okay so if you want to manage something okay if you want to uh, manage a data you can use yarn or mesos or spark so those application you can use and manage the data okay so if you want to store some data you can use local fs okay local fs or hdfs or amazon s3 rdbms and no sql okay so without those sql also we can store the data otherwise relation data management system also we can use amazon s3 those are those are uh, frameworks to avail uh, to store the Uh, data okay so if we go, go on to the library system we have a different type of library about this library we already seen like sql ml lib graphic grapx and spark streaming but we need the first one is important what type of programming we can use those library engine management story if you want to access those things what type of programming language we can use okay so we can use totally four type of languages like scala java python and r okay so scala is the uh, main some of the packages will be written by scala languages only programming languages only java everybody will know about java then python also we know okay so python basically nowadays is a trending and then r okay so r is nothing but it's mainly r programming language is used for data science part okay so our languages also we can use and then here you can see the community okay how uh, past years it's working okay spark uses us okay so compared to map reduce yarn hdfs and storm spark is one of the main one of the main stream language uh, we can sorry we mean stream packages we can use okay so when we come come to the lines of code when compared to any other uh, any other like map reducing yarn hdfs the lines of codes are so easy only okay we can uh, it uh, the uh, lines of the code also reduce okay so introduction to spark okay so what we can do with spark okay how it will be useful okay so before we are going to introduction to the uh, for example 
why we are using spark okay so it's a complex interactive and real time okay so when compared to map produced simplified big data analysis that is when we compare to previous uh, data analysis that rdd analysis that is apache spark analysis is the uh, most efficient and most interactive and most real time streaming uh, complex one okay so that's why we are using uh, this one okay so for example you can use both machine learning also or data science for streaming also okay so like that we can use. so these are the three need faster data streaming in parallels okay we can use it in multiple cluster of data sets okay so i are uh, we i am telling a uh, word map producing map producing map producing so now you can see th this slide how the map producing will be use using okay data sharing in map producing. how it's a world one now we are using a dd rdd method okay for data sharing in apache spark but in hadoop we are using a map producing technique here you can see for example first i am giving a input input welcome to hadoop class hadoop is good hadoop is bad okay so i am giving one input data okay so first it will be split the data into four different way okay like welcome to hadoop is one one splits one data and class hadoop is another one data and good hadoop is another one data and bad hadoop is another one data okay so here i am splitting the data input into four different type then after that i move on to mapping okay so mapping means nothing but how much uh, time it's repeating the word for example if i take a welcome how much time in those first input welcome is one time and two is one time and how do we sound time okay so like that for each and every that is each and every splits i am taking a mapping okay each mapping class and hadoop is and then good hadoop is and then bad okay so after i am mapping and count of each word then i will be move on to shuffling okay shuffling is nothing but each uh, layers that is each mapping layers will be connected with all the shuffling layers okay that is fully connected okay so fully connected between between each layers okay after it's connected according to the weight wise it will be uh, shuffled the data for example here you can see bad only one and class only one good only one and hadoop i have a three okay three time it's repeating hadoop 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 then is then two welcome one okay so here i am having shuffling all the data then i am deduplicate all the data into a single type for example if if i uh, hadoop is repeated for three time it will be reduced into three time sorry uh, i will take it as a hadoop as a one single time and then i am uh, near to the hadoop i am giving as a count three okay that is three times it's repeating hadoop okay then i will get a final output here okay i will get a final output okay so this is what i am doing in map producing i am just deduplicate deduplicating the all the input data into an one final output value okay so this is what we are doing in data sharing in map produce that is previous in hadoop but in apache spark what we are doing means for example here you can see this is a data sharing in uh, rdd okay so i am taking an uh one master and one worker okay in right side you will be get an uh, you have a pictures like three pictures we have in those one is the master in master we have a data processing step and we have an uh, data storage and memory okay memory is now blank and then in workers same thing only data processing steps and memory and then we have some Uh, local memory okay so in physical layer in physically we have a master and worker okay so here you can enter into the uh, enter into the first line we have a list okay list is nothing but we have some data based on list okay so from 1 to 99 i am having i am having a numbers 1 to 99 in list format okay so what i will do means using rdd that rdd i need to uh, 
i will split the data into an yeah, some different type of split uh, different types okay for example from 1 to 2 or 18 19 so like that i am splitting the data into an yeah, uh, different like 1 2 3 4 5 6 some 8 8 different data okay i i have a list from 1 to 19 i am i am splitting that list into 8 different data okay next i will be what i will do means it will be transferred to the workers layer okay workers physical layer so here you can see i am i am having a workers physical layer i am saving those list data into the different type of workers layer it's not it's not an uh, scheduled one it's randomly it's move on to some other data okay randomly it's move on to worker data then after that it will be save it move on to the master data okay so like this here working of rdd okay so when we compare to previous it's it's it is most efficient one because at the first time itself we are saving the data into the some other cluster data some other workers that is two different workers data then after that i am saving into the masters data okay so um, for example this one is like a torrent okay new torrent everyone everyone know about the new torrent file if you want to download any files using those torrent link you can download those data into different server okay both uh, if i download those uh, data i am a downloader and i am a uploader i am as a act as a server also okay only we are doing uh, not fully but same thing only okay so that is what we are we are like to get for example if i give a input data those iteration will be done by three different or four different type of cluster that is distributed memory okay then i will be get an iteration 2 in three di di different distributed memory then after that i will finalize the data into the in uh, different type of storage users okay so it's a 10 time faster and this okay it's 10 to 100 time faster network and discuss disk also okay so here you can see right um, resident distributed data set okay so here we are collecting the data we are collecting the object data or object and stored in a different type of memory clusters okay so using some of the transversion like map filtering or filtering method or pre-processing method okay so here i am i know to i need to tell you what is the resilient distributed data set okay what is resilient okay each uh, for example if you take a resilient means the meaning of resilient is nothing but it's uh, it will be process the data and after processing the data it will be stored somewhere during that saving time it takes some failure it will be automatically rebuilt okay using that lineage graph it will be automatically using that lineage graph it automatically uh, retrieve the data from the uh, previous processing okay that is that is what i am telling to you previously it, it will be works on metadata okay so we have a data for those data we have metadata also okay so distributed distributed is nothing but in name itself there it will be distributed each and every data into different different servers okay so data set data set is nothing but uh, it's it is in the form of csv or it's in the form of json or it's in the form of uh, sql any other data set manner okay so based on this rdd we are collecting the object and doing some filtering option okay so that is what we are doing here spark model okay for example here i am uh, just executing one simple program that is uh, line is equal to spark dot text file i am asking a text file from the wikipedia okay using wikipedia so here on the uh, after accessing the data from the uh, spark text file i am saving those data in lines variable after using that lines variable i am filtering the data that is error rate errors and all filtering into separate section and pass into the cache cache memory okay so using those cache memory i am getting the output for example here you can see in right side in that picture we have a drivers 
okay so drivers and car each drivers have some workers okay so worker 1 worker 3 all are processing only all the all the tasks task will be processed and sent to the drive uh, sent to the driver but during the processing time each workers will be uh, handling with one catch catch memory okay that is catch one and catch two catch three why we are using those catch memories mean if we get any error using those catch memory we will retrieve the data okay and we will uh, give it to the driver okay that is that is what we want to tell to you rdd is the one of the uh, one, one of the automatically rebuild on failure okay RD, rd is one of the efficient one when compared to map reduce okay here you can see fault tolerance okay so fault tolerance are the transformation used to build them in a lineage okay so lineage is nothing but it's a one graph okay so it's based on the processing it will it will be stored in one graph okay if you are getting error or lost some data using those graph you can get the output okay so that is what uh, rd is a fault tolerance okay then here here you can see the graph logistic regression okay so here i am using some regression algorithm okay for both hadoop and spark okay for both hadoop and spark here i am using some regression algorithm okay so here in x axis i am using number of iteration and running time okay so see here if uh, if i run the hadoop for each iteration it take 110 seconds to iterate the data okay but if i run the spar first iteration only it take 80 second okay later on if i execute any data okay it take only 1 second okay so when we compare to hadoop spark is one of the most efficient one to taking and running time okay so how much time uh, if for, for first execution time only it takes some time okay but after those uh, execution time if you run it on again and again it will be take only a few seconds to give the data okay so this is the basic um, algorithm i am using logistic regression okay and i am printing the result of those data okay so how performing disk okay now we seen about algorithm how it's performing uh, for algorithm but how it's performing for disk because disk is, disk is one of the important thing okay uh, to computing a big data okay so how it's computing okay so time start to 100 tb okay so here each uh, each time it's uh, start, each time it's represented as 100 tb okay from 2013 record hadoop okay i am taking a 2013 record hadoop we are using totally 2100 machines for computing 72 minutes of data computing a data we are get uh, to computing a 100 tb data it takes 72 minutes we that records 2100 machines okay to computing those 100 tb data but if you comes to the 2014 record using spark i am getting only a, i need only a 23 minutes to computing those data within 207 machines okay so compared to hadoop spark is one of the main thing spark is one of the efficient software it's reducing more complexity work into a simple manner okay so here you can see the operators okay so if you take any uh, languages they have some operators okay so likewise we have some operators like map operator filtering operator filtering means uh, like we need to uh, delete some null values or like this so we can use filtering and group by unions and join left outer join and right outer join so this so those are the some of the uh, map uh, some of the operators we are using okay so here you need to see uh, pipe okay pipe is nothing but pipeline okay pipeline uh, pipeline is nothing but if you want to compute uh, like at a time at a time you need to compute both pre-processing both training and both testing in machine learning means we can use those pipeline operator we can execute within single line itself okay that is what i will 
I think in next uh, after some slide I am using pipeline code I will show you how it's working okay then user community okay so we can use those Apache Spark in different type of communities like Yahoo, eBay, IBM okay Netflix and then Databricks okay so Databricks at last first one we have Databricks so Databricks is one of the computing uh, online computing Spark website okay so if you want means you can create a different type of cloud different type of clusters okay based on those clusters we can compute your single uh, engines okay they will they will sponsoring for uh, different type of uh, nodes okay so a cluster up to 800 nodes passing into 1 pb per day okay so single single job over 1 1 pb okay then application and libraries what are the applications we are using in these okay so here we can use different type of public uh, so already we have seen python scanner we can use for different type of uh, language for to computing a mapache spark and uh, it support an sql and enable data streaming so those are we already say on machine learning and deep learning also okay so libraries available in the spark we have this is the this is the basic ecosystem we already seen before itself okay so spark sql here you can see i am taking a two data from hive i am taking one data another one json okay so we can compute different type of data also okay okay so if you use spark sql not only you need to take like hive type of data you can take json type of data also okay so then spark streaming Spark streaming is nothing but uh, if you want to stream any thing you can use those streaming uh, to test in uh, those packages you can stream those data within seconds okay ml libraries okay like algorithm prediction okay like machine learning or deep learning or any other algorithms like support better machine or random forest navy bias okay what other algorithm you need you can compute those algorithm within uh, vectors and metrics okay so graphics to computing and uh, computing a graph from cluster wise okay so from first cluster how much i have after i am giving the product product trading next time how much i have a product trade graph like that we can check okay so performance and specialized engine okay so here we can implement for sql streaming and ml okay so for sql we are using different type of data sets and for streaming also we are using different type of data and machine learning how much it's responding okay response of each data okay then combining process a combining process is nothing but uh, here you can see i am using uh, like first time importing an uh, sql that is some data latitude and longitude of the tweets and then using those data i am training the machine using k means algorithm after that i am applying a stream here you can see first i am taking a sql data then after that i am applying a machine learning model and after that i am applying a streaming model okay so i already told you we have different type of uh, like this we have different type of ecosystem like sql streaming ml library graphics okay so i am if you want means you can use those four streaming application within one code okay so here i am using within one code combining the process of all the data like sql and machine learning model and streaming model okay so like this also we can we have an option to use those spark fuel okay so separate engine and spark so this is the basic difference between separate and uh, previous and spark okay so in spark we can read and write hdfs within train and, and apply okay combining process next we move on to data science so data science it's make easier for wide class users okay so uh, when they know about a previous for example uh, they know about something previous codes like this big codes in left corner we got some uh, java codes with big okay but here if in right corner you can see we have only an using spark we are doing something but it's a only a two three or line, three line codes only okay so like this we can reduce okay when they uh, 
previously they know about data science using java now it's very easier okay to analyze that data science or static statistics or uh, pi data using pi data we can reduce the data okay so that is what i am telling to you okay so data frames using data frames nowadays increase data frame is nothing but uh, it's like a uh, excel sheet or comma separated value or it's having a rows and columns okay using those rows and columns we are using data science projects okay so nowadays nowadays it's increasing when compared to 2007 2009 or 2001 now it's increasing up to 2015 it's increasing using r and python it's increasing okay so next one is uh, see here how the data frame is increasing okay when python in scala on data frame okay so collecting of structured data similar to the r and pandas automatically optimized by spark sql okay so i am collecting a data from uh, like a twitter json file i am i am do it in both python and scala and data frame okay so here can, we i am doing from three different uh, framework python is one of the fastest running framework compared to any other two okay so here you can see i already told to you pipeline okay we can use pipeline technique also in uh PySpark, okay so in those code you can see tokenizer i am using tokenizer is nothing but if you have any data frame if you have any text type of data you need to do some tokenizer okay uh, tokenizer means we need to split the data into the single single words okay using tokenizer we i am splitting the tokenizer into single single words after i am tokenizing the single single word i am importing the async vectorizer okay async vectorizer async vectorizer is nothing but uh, it's converting the words into a numerical value that is what we are doing from map reducing also like for example hard of how much how much time it's repeating and bad how much time it's repeating good how much time it's repeating okay so in map reducing we are using uh, so same thing only related to that only but we are using here async tf okay and save it in one variable then logistic regression algorithm i am using that also save it in one lr variable okay so this both are combined i am combined i need to train the uh, algorithm means you can use pipeline technique okay here i am using pipeline function using the pipeline function i am passing the variables of tokenizer and hashing tf and logistic regression okay so combining those data into a single step and i am getting one output value using those output value i will be use i will be trained the data i will be trained the data frame and i will get one model okay using those model only i will predict the output okay so that is what we are using in machine learning as a pipeline okay so in in r also we can use like this type okay then platform interface platform interface means how we can interface those platforms okay like uh, spark if you take only spark means we have post degree sql json elastic and allows to plugging smart data source into the spark okay like if you access any uh, mobile phones you want to store those data in any other uh, data storage like using post you can use okay return the data frame type okay if you want to store it as a rows and columns data frame times you can use those data and frame the data okay so if you want to retrieve the data like a sql or like rdd you can retrieve the data using sql function okay and then uh, that is what i want to tell to you to learn more you can use those websites data bricks and uh, some other spark summit those, those those are the links you can use even more if you need spark data okay then i will tell you the three partitions of PySpark. okay one is driver process another one is executors another one is cluster manager okay so about driver process nothing but it will be uh, create your nodes okay it will be create a clusters of computers okay so those computers won't be give any request or any task to the um, apache uh, any task to the spark software okay so how it's analyzing okay how it's executing those tasks and give the reply to us okay so for that purpose 
we need executors okay executor is nothing but it will be execute the each and every task each and every work from the uh, from the big data okay from the big data it will be execute the each and every task and data and then it will be finalized the uh, result and then report to the each clusters how we want to report the each clusters so at the time it will be used for cluster manager okay so it's like a first come first serve okay or some of the uh, mapping techniques are there okay uh, some of the scheduling techniques are there okay using those techniques we are uh, giving an output okay so uh, if it if they are required in first itself means we need to give according to the managing uh, cluster manager we will give the output okay then how to how we can set up the apache spark uh, here one thing i want to tell if you are new to this apache spark you can use those link http databrick.com and you can create your own uh, account and those those account you can create uh, you can use community edition okay using databrick website you can create your account and then get start with community edition if you after you do this one here you will be get you will be get like this website welcome to databricks here you can drag and drop your data set whatever you want to do you can drag and drop your data set and then after drag and drop the data set you can create a clusters how much uh, you can create a number of clusters and then you can do the program language programming okay it's python based only okay but if you want to do with uh, your environment your own environment like uh, jupyter notebook in your pc without any online you need means you have to install uh, pyspark okay so to install pyspark you need to use the command pip install pyspark okay pip install pyspark after installing a pyspark you need to install java okay that is jdk you need to install java because pyspark without java it won't work okay so that java should be in the version more than greater than 1.8 version jdk version will be greater than 1.8 or equal to 1.8 okay if you install java and jupyter notebook using anagona navigator or using python ideally you will that is your wish only but you need to do this one then only it will be uh, pyspark will be work in your pc okay but before you after you install the java you need to create your environment variable in your pc okay that is important okay not only for pyspark if you want to use any java programming language you need to do this one after installing a jdk you need to create your uh, python variable path to your pc environment okay after it's done you have, you can use uh, Machine learning. Uh, here I am showing some of the screenshot using machine learning with Spark. Okay, like basic operation, how we can do with Spark and pre-processing technique. Uh, with we using Spark, I am doing this pre-processing and data pre-processing using pipeline and build the classifier, training and evaluating the model. Okay, using those. Okay, so first here you can see I am reading the data set. i'm reading a data set of adult.csv nothing but it's a data set combine uh, having some age work class and education each and every uh, 18 plus age person that is each and every adults uh, how much they are uh, education how much their relationship and how much they earning the money money okay it's less than 15000 or greater than 50000 so those data set i am taking i am taking those data set order dot csv i am reading using sql context dot read and dot csv okay so using and uh, those data set i am reading those data set and save it in df okay df is the data frame sorry it's a variable name using those variable name i am saving my adult dot csv in my uh, variable name okay after i am saving i am just displaying pre processing my data set for example in native country native country is one of the column at, that, is, that, is, that is the column last before one okay native country is the one of the column i am need to do pre processing those native country for example if you take an sex 
in sex i am having male and gender as a string okay so sorry male and female as a string okay i need to convert those string into a numerical tag that is male as a zero or female as a one like that i need to do some uh, integer conversion okay so that is called pre processing here i am doing i am showing you for only for native country but i need to do for all the data types the data types which have string type okay data types which have string i need to do for all the pre processing here i am showing you pre processing for native countries after i am doing a pre processing for native countries i need to do pipeline process okay data processing pipeline pipeline is nothing but i already told you if you want to compute a uh, different type of function within single line you can use those pipeline okay using those pipeline i am passing the uh, parameters and i am doing some transformation and saved in model variable okay after i am saved in model variable what i will do means i will be convert those model variable into a vector vector value okay into a vector value that is uh, i am converting into the vector function after converting into the vector function i am dividing my data set into two type one is trained data set and another one is test data set okay trained data set and test data set okay so trained data set is nothing but in trained data also we have a label and some data in test also we have a label and data so data is nothing but uh, about their details about each person detail and label is nothing but they will be greater than 15k salary or less than 15k salary that is my output okay so i have both trained and test data okay so i will pass those trained data to the algorithm after i am passing those algorithm using prediction variable i am giving my test data okay so algorithm will be give the prediction result that result will be stored in cm variable then after that i am plotting those cm here i am getting a answer 0 and 1 label what last last picture you can see label is equal to 0 and 1 okay so 0 means less than 15000 in my test data i have 5021% 21 people are there less than 15000 salary okay so greater than 15000 salary i have totally um, 1578 1578 uh, people are having greater than 15000 salary in my test data so this is what i am predicting my result using evaluate model okay so up to this i am uh, i am just uh, uh, showing you screenshot only okay but if you need, if you need even more detailed about uh, some uh, real time working process of uh, pyspark with big data okay definitely sure i will be in, in next session i will be uh, i will be go on to the real time plotting it's a real time using of pyspark okay so for that you need to do one thing just click the subscribe button if you are new to this youtube channel and hit a bell icon definitely you will get a notification of those of our video each and every day we are posting two videos of different type of domains if you are ready to learn learn the different type of domains you can please subscribe the channel definitely you will be get a new knowledge and then uh definitely sure i will be uh, technical wise i will take one another one webinar using pyspark okay i will tell you how it's working under machine learning and deep learning okay yeah, about pyspark okay so this is the this is what i have to tell to you this webinar about data science and webinar on pyspark okay i hope this video will be understandable to you all about technical session definitely i will be upload later videos you just subscribe our channel for those videos okay so if you need to learn about deep learning or machine learning i will post pre some previous videos uh, in my in this youtube channel as a live session with technical technical manner only okay if you need to learn deep learning or machine learning you, you can watch those videos if you are new to python you if we have Uh, i am taking a basics of python also okay just to go through those we playlist of our youtube channel okay we have a basics basics of python uh, youtube sorry python channel also 
so the basics of python uh, class also i have taken already okay you just go through those videos okay if you want to do any online internship with us you can do we these are the domains we are doing uh, like iot deep learning ai matlab embedded system these are the domains we are covering for online internship uh, internship for this lockdown okay so if you want to do any uh, internship you can follow this uh, you can note it down and if you want to join those internship you can contact uh, my marketing department i will show the marketing department numbers okay once you contact those numbers and you can contact you can register for your internship or if you need if you are staff you need to do webinar session like this domains with us you can please uh, call to those fantac person and you can register for schedule for your webinar session and this is kamalesh thank you to all uh, about those about this webinar big data with data science it's over okay i hope you will you guys will enjoy those video uh, in this webinar okay thank you to one and all if you want to contact our uh, marketing department you can contact those three numbers like sendil kumar srinivasan sir kumaran swami sir okay so you can contact those numbers if you need any webinar session like this for your college or if you need any internship as a student you can contact those numbers and you can register okay so thank you to one and all uh, today you are uh, i hope you will be enjoy this session we will meet you tomorrow session some new trending topics okay so till now i hope all are enjoy those videos okay so thank you it's signing off from kamalesh we'll see in next video as a better